Hello and thank you for joining us. My name is Ben Sheen. I'm a managing editor here at Stratfor, and today I'm joined by Europe analyst Julianne Freund, and we'll be talking a little bit about the March 22nd elections in France. So Julian, what exactly are these local elections we've seen on Sunday? So during these elections, the French people elected the representatives of localities called cantons, mm. and the elected officials of this canton will form the departmental councils. So the organism that is um, responsible for managing the departments of France. And what do we actually see from the elections themselves? Was it as expected? Who actually came out in the lead? So the freshly created alliance between the center and the right, the UMP, Union for Popular Movements, and the UDI, Union for Independence, came first as a result of these elections. They came first with 29% of the votes. The mm -hmm. second uh, political force was the National Front, the anti-establishment party, mm -hmm. the anti-EU party who came second with 25%, and the Socialist Party, the ruling Socialist Party of François Hollande, came third with 21%. Do you think it was a surprise that the National Front did so well in these elections, seeing as they're more anti-establishment? It was very much expected that they would score very well. I would say what is really a surprise is the score of the UMP and the UDI, mm. uh, with almost 30% when Sarkozy took the lead last year of this party and the party was really uh, not healthy at that moment. So what does this mean then? This is obviously the first round of voting and the next round takes place on March 29th. What do you think we're going to see between now and then and what can we expect in the next round of voting? So what you have to know first is in these local elections, um, the Socialist Party used to manage 61 departments mm -hmm. out of 101 departments. Mm -hmm. After Sunday's runoff, they are expected to win 20 departments, so they will lose mm -hmm. around 40 departments. So this will be a hard snap for the Socialist Party. Um, the UMP is going to be the main winner of this runoff, mm -hmm. winning many departments. And the National Front is expected to win one or two departments, which will be a very first time for the Nationalist Party. And am I right in thinking as well that there's going to be a lot more women involved in these stages of the elections as well because of a new regulation brought in? The new regulation was implemented last year mm -hmm. and it makes it mandatory for what they call binomes mm -hmm. to manage the department. So it has to be a male and a female, a man and a, and a woman mm -hmm. managing the department. So yeah, we're going to have much more women as a matter of fact. So based on what we've seen in, in this round of elections and the next round, what will this actually mean for France as a whole and potentially its role in the EU? So with these elections, the National Front is going to have a growing number of elected officials in the departments and in the canton. They're mm. going to be able to build experience because they didn't have these elected officials before. Mm. And they're going to be able to deliver their messages within these councils, departmental councils. Mm. So their influence is going to grow on a, on a regional level and on a national level. Um, this kind of army of elected officials is mm. going to build up their credibility, their legitimacy to potentially be, come to power in the president potential elections in 2017. So we're expecting to see a rise, a constant rise of the National Front, mm. further rising. And as the pattern shows right now, in the 2017 elections, we could see a runoff between the UMP candidate mm. and the National Front candidate, Marine Le Pen. As a consequence for Europe, because the National Front is going to gain more importance within the political debate in France, it's going to make the Socialist Party and the UMP um, debate on grounds such as anti-immigration policies and mm -hmm. anti-EU policies. It's going to move the political debate to the far right. And this, this is probably going to have an impact on the image of France in the EU and on the actual EU integration, because this party is deeply anti-European integration. Mm. So moving the France to the far right will redefine the European integration in the next years. Well, we'll see what this holds for the future of France and the future of Europe. Julian, thank you so much for explaining that. It's been very clear. 
For more analysis on elections in Europe, both in France, Spain and elsewhere, please read stratford.com.